I hate periods. I never have any tampons. If you haven't already seen my Billy Razor video, make sure to check that out above. I don't know why, but I have this super weird impulse to try out random women's products in my bathroom. <laughs> so, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. And I want to say a shout out to my mama. It took her about four tries of hitting me in the face with these little panties here before we got it right. All right, ladies, men's, if you on this video, click off because you ain't got a uterus. I am here to talk about these bad boys right here now this may look like an ugly high-waisted swimsuit i know but it's not it's thanks period panties now y'all i'm gonna be honest when i first heard about period panties i'm like bleeding on myself no pad sitting in blood ain't for me mm -mm. i wasn't even gonna buy these things but y'all let me explain these panties to y'all please please give me give me at least like 12 minutes of your time because i guarantee you you gon you, you i can't guarantee nothing but just just stay on this video immediately clicking onto the things website you can see that they market themselves as underwear that absorbs your period and if you scroll down you see where they say things panties are washable reusable underwear designed to replace pads and tampons or they can be used as added protection if you're wearing a tampon or a diva cup but to be honest if you buy one pair of things underwear it's gonna run you about forty dollars so i don't recommend buying this product as a panty liner where well, you can buy a box of panty liners for less than ten dollars versus buying like $40 underwear that you're barely gonna bleed on because you already have some type of device inserted inside of you the thing that got me about things underwear and that really really made me want to try it is that it claims that their underwear can hold four regular tampons four now that's a lot of blood sis like y'all I'm not even trying to worry about menstrual cycle like I'm we talking the nitty-gritty here is woman to woman I bleed you bleed so we all bleeding let's let's be real with each other so i do want to point out that thinks does have different styles they have boy shorts they have high-waisted they have i don't know different types of panty styles but depending on which style you pick is going to determine how much blood your thinks underwear can hold so when i say that they claim their underwear can hold four tampons i am speaking about the high-waisted pair that i have right here in my hand i'm not talking about any other pair now no i didn't want to walk around in high-waisted underwear but because it claimed to hold so much period blood i figured why not try this one it's like the ultimate boss of panties you know if you can't get past this guy you're not getting past anybody so once you shart shart <laughs> once you start shopping on the thanks website you can view all of their styles so you see they have a super hip hugger which comes with super absorbency they have moderate absorbency in their hip hugger and it goes all the way down to their sportier looks the super high waist that you see that i have regular high waist boy shorts cheeky thong wow they have thongs dang why did i get a thong I should have got a thong. Ugh. They have these cotton briefs, cotton bikini. I really applaud them for having so many different styles and so many different fabrics and textures. It's just kind of amazing that they put this much work into period panties because usually it's like a one and done type thing when you see these types of products but the fact that they give you colors to choose from a lot of variety of styles uh, depending on what you like to wear panty wise I think that's really cool so Good job guys another cool thing about think they have sports clothing that will actually hold period blood so here you can see some of their active wear they have training shorts a leotard like y'all they really kind of hooked us up every time i look at a tampon commercial it's always girls wanting to play tennis and jump in the pool but now we can do that for real for real because we have panties 
like I said before, I don't recommend using this product as like a panty liner. If you're already just like, I'm not trying to wear that, I use a tampon or a diva cup. It can get a bit pricey if you buy the underwear individually. They do have sets for you to buy, and I think the cheapest one is uh, two different types of panties for $65, and then it goes up to three panties for $89, three for $94, but as the prices do increase, you do get the panties that are more absorbent. Ladies, you can get the All-Star set, which is valued at $100 for $89 books think about how much money in a year that you spend on tampons a box of tampons cost anywhere from like 10 to 13 dollars depending on where you are where you buy it think about all the tampons you buy in a year versus buying like a few sets of period panties and not having to buy any more Y'all, I know y'all gonna think this video is sponsored. It is not sponsored. I bought these myself. I just really love this product and I really want to talk to you guys about it. But I can tell already by the way you looking on your face, you're not completely sold. You, you are like AV. Why would I want to sit in my blood? I could wear a pad if I wanted to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how my panties look on my body. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the shape, the fitting, and how I bled in them. Let me take my clothes off, sis. I'll be right with you. <laughs> so this is just a few of the inside mechanics of the underwear. So as you can see here and on my body, this is sheer material. So the, the only thing that will be covered will be your butt as well as your vagina. Now you're gonna see here, I do like the fit. It's very form fitting, but not too, too tight. They're very cozy underwear, I would definitely say, because they hug the body and they don't pinch the stomach when you got a little fat, you know, like me. So <laughs> yeah. This is the main padding on the inside of the underwear. Now this feels almost like swimsuit material, but you can tell that there is a a lot of padding put in because all you have is the pad and then behind it you have this sheer so yeah a lot of protection these are the panties inside out and I know ladies that sometimes if you do opt to wear pads that you get some blood in the front area so as you can see this comes up just a little bit past your vagina and this is how far back the padding goes so you don't have to worry about like blood in your ass <laughs> This video would not be complete if I didn't even tell you guys my experience wearing the underwear outside, sleeping in them, all day long type stuff. Yeah, you know. We, what we are going to do is we are going to run a few errands. I'm just going to see how I feel while I'm walking around. Do I have a problem with smell? Do I have a problem with blood? Because that's honestly one of my concerns. Four tampons worth of blood is a lot of Kool-Aid. So I don't know how exactly the panties hold up to period odor, but we will see. So we're gonna test for a few things. I'm gonna give you guys some notes. I am also going to sleep in the underwear so I can give you guys my honest opinion about how prolonged use in the underwear might affect you on your period. So yeah, let's go. Plant time. We're at Lowe's, it's the garden center. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, what's up guys? Sorry that the lighting is kind of crappy. I sat down to edit this video and I got to what would have been my final thoughts on the period panties and I remembered. <laughs> I didn't film any final thoughts, so here I am. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about the pros and the cons of the Thanks Period panties after I spent the entire day in them. So I wanna say I spent about eight hours in the Period panties. I ran a few errands. I did not sleep in them, and I'll elaborate a little bit why, but I did a full eight hours, so I did my time. A few pros, and I actually mentioned this when I tried the panties on, I really like how form-fitting they are. I don't really feel like I'm wearing a pad. And even though the crotch material is a bit thicker, it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a swimsuit. And that's something that I mentioned earlier because it felt like swimsuit material. The period panties do have the mesh on the side, so they're very light, they're very breezy. Like, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes my panties make my downstairs sweat and that's just, that's just that, that's me. I don't know if that's just me or what, but these panties were very breezy. Another pro that I noticed with the period panties is that because you wear them like panties, you don't really have to worry about that feeling like your pad is showing. Like let's say you're on your period and you wear leggings like me, I wear leggings 
every day. If I were to wear a pad with my thin leggings and my thin underwear, I'm almost certain that it would show. So I really like the fact that I didn't have to worry about any panty line showing. And another pro that I noticed with the period panties that there wasn't any wetness when I went to go to the bathroom. Like I've, I've done tampons, I've done pads, I've done diva cups, and I always notice with pads, like I feel like I just have to wipe up so much blood when I go to the bathroom and I just hate feeling like I'm sitting in Kool-Aid all day. Cause you damn near are. And that's really why I personally don't like pads. But with thanks period panties, I would say up until about the six hour mark, there was absolutely no odor at all. And even after that, there was a very minimal odor. And that's just because, you know, I'm bleeding on myself. I didn't have to deal with like that fishy smell that you might get if you wear a pad and you have like a really heavy flow. Because I know there are some girls who have to wear tampons and pads. I'm praying for y'all because I, I don't know how y'all do it. And then we're going to talk about a little bit of the cons of the period panties. I didn't really notice any cons about the panties up until about the six, seven hour mark. And that's just because I have a heavy flow and I needed to change my period panties. So you kind of get that wetness feeling just that like a little moist down there. I do believe that the panties could have held more blood, but do you want them to hold more blood is the question. So I would definitely say around like five hours of wearing the period panties, you definitely might want to switch into another pair, but could they hold four tampons worth of blood? Probably. I wore these panties at the beginning of my cycle because I knew my flow would be the heaviest at that time. So it really, it really did the job. There was like a slight period odor smell at the like seven hour mark that I noticed. And again, that's to be expected. The panties are catching all the blood and absorbing all of that. So what do you expect after seven hours of just bleeding into a reservoir, you know? Lastly, I would say the last con, which wasn't really a big con, but I just noticed that it gave me wedgies a lot. I don't know if that's just a me issue, but I did notice that I had a lot of wedgies with the period panties. And it's one thing to like dig out a wedgie, but to dig out a wedgie that's full of period blood, it's like, uh, I don't know. This is my official rating, y'all. I give the panties an eight out of 10. And the only reason I'm giving them an eight is because I just don't like pads and I don't like the concept of sitting in my own blood. Regardless if I could see it, which I absolutely could not, and regardless if I could smell it, which I really did not. But if you're somebody who you just don't like tampons, you don't like diva cups, you don't really feel comfortable inserting something into your vagina, you know, to each his own. This would be a great product for you. I've already told you guys all the great things that Thanks has to offer. So if you like them, you know, go check them out. Check out their website. Overall, I think Thanks has a really great thing going over there. I, I really applaud them for all of the work and the diversity that they put in in their panty styles. If any ladies decide to go check out Thanks and actually buy a pair, let me know how your experience was. Definitely comment that down below because I would love to see how y'all feel about the panties. If you actually choose to buy some but yeah that's that's it that's all i got for you guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked it make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to my channel and i can't imagine why you wouldn't be make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and when you do subscribe if you choose to make sure you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button because youtube does not always let you guys know when i post and i would hate for y'all to miss anything if you're not already following me on my social medias pow you can follow me here as well as here i am on instagram daily and i would get on twitter more if y'all would follow me thanks again for watching you guys stay tight and i'll catch you another late night bye did you like and subscribe